guys, my name is Amy Cho, golf professional. To gain power and distance, there are many different factors you have to work on. But today, I'm going to show you this one movement that's going to help you gain a lot of distance. Let's find out what that is. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy the video, please press the like button and share it with all your friends. It's going to help me promote my channel. That way I can bring you guys even more great golf content on YouTube. Hmm, what can it be? That one move that's going to help us gain distance. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the correct coil in the backswing. Obviously, we all know if we coil correctly, now all you have to do is kind of start uncoiling and you will create amazing amount of power and speed in the downswing. Um, coiling is one of the most important factors when you want to start gaining distance. So that's what we're going to talk about today. In the backswing, the correct coil looks like this. When you turn, Boom, your hips turn about 45 degrees and during that time your shoulders are turning about 90 degrees which is twice as much and while your shoulders are turning 90 degrees your hands are traveling from the setup position to the top of the backswing which is boom either ear high or if you're flexible you will go past a little bit higher so all these three movements have to sync up beautifully but the most common mistakes we see in regular golfers is to not worry about the sink as much and they just usually lift their backswing using their arms, kind of like this, boom. And now you've only turned 45 degrees, your left arm is bent because if you strain your left arm, you'll be only half swing here to complete your full backswing. A lot of people tend to bend that arm to finish it like this. So we've probably seen this position a lot. When you have not coiled correctly, now you're losing a lot of distance because you're not creating a lot of speed. So you're gonna start compensating doing whatever you can to create power which is going to make you not only lose distance but accuracy as well so we don't want those so when you are trying to fix your coil it's not one of the easiest things to do so when you're working on a swing change that's difficult the very best thing to do is to do some drills at home if you do indoor training then now you're used to doing the correct movements it makes your life a lot easier to try and make contact with the golf ball with a new backswing all right so i've prepared a quick drill you can do at home let's take a look at that Ta-da! so i have prepared a alignment stick and i put a triangle on the stick when you're doing this at home you can just use the alignment stick to see how far you're turning your shoulders but let's just watch this first so the triangle is here to represent this triangle you make with your arms and i want your hands to be more in front of your sharp buttons that's why i drew the buttons here and you're trying to maintain this as much as possible during the backswing so it goes like this you turn and this is i would say half swing to three quarter swing when you're at this position i want your hands to be still in front of your sharp buttons so in this position you can tell that I've turned a lot with my shoulders um, so I want you to understand where your hands are supposed to be compared to your body turn from here if you do it incorrectly if you lift with your hands instead of syncing it up with the rest of the body you will most likely look like this so you've turned about 45 degrees your hands are way off from where I want them to be at and your left arm is bent in this case yes and then um, so I want you to just get used to the correct positioning this is why we're doing this at home so you take it back you turn when you start trying this for the first time what's actually going to happen is you're going to start to turn your body using your arms so it looks like this you use your arms to turn your body and when you do this there's so much tension in your shoulders arms and your neck it's going to be very uncomfortable to the point where you don't want to coil at all but if you keep sticking to it and keep working on it eventually your body is smart enough it's going to find the easiest way to adapt and it's going to start turning the body and positioning your hands okay so it looks like this your body is turning your hands are just positioning now you feel the tension in your core you can't really breathe 
and your thighs and your arms actually feel very comfortable. This is what we're trying to achieve here, guys. Because if you're coiled in the correct spots, now you just have to kind of let it uncoil and you'll create effortless power. All right, so if you do this enough at home, keep your hands in front of your buttons and turn your body. Now let's go ahead and hit the golf ball. All right, we're going to concentrate on two things. Your body is going to lead the backswing, turn, and your hands are just positioning at the top. Let's try. Notice how I, we didn't even work on the downswing, but because I coiled more in the core and the thighs rather than your arms, I was able to create a lot of speed through the ball. That was a fairly good hit shot. So if you want to gain distance, I want you to try the indoor practice I showed you. Get your shoulders turning, get your hands in front of your sharp buttons and sync those two things up. That way you're able to coil in the correct parts of the body it's really going to help you gain more distance and create a lot more power. I hope you're able to follow along. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you a great stretching you can do to help your coil. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next lesson.